Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is O Pure Artisan Water. Next up is O Pure Hawks Bay Sparkling Water. And obviously these are from the same company. They have the same logo and they're just a sparkling version and a still version. And it's, you know, the same company and everything. And these are both from New Zealand. And these were both purchased from salaciousdrinks.com. The still one was a dollar and forty-nine cents. That's a pretty reasonable price. The sparkling one is five dollars, and it's a, you know it's a bigger bottle. It's nice glass. It's a better it's a better quality material bottle, but it's still a lot more expensive. The still one, the bottle looks a lot like the Fiji bottle, like the shape of it and everything. And a neat thing about the still water is that if you look inside, you can see a picture looking through it. Here's another one of them. They actually have different pictures for different bottles. They have several different pictures looking through them for different versions of it. So if you, if you buy a case, you get a bunch of different pictures and different colors looking through it. The still one claims to have a pH level of uh, 7.8 on the bottle. But if you look at their website, their website claims to have a 7.7 .7 pH level. So let's actually test these out. Let's open them up and do a taste test right away. And later on, we'll test the pH. No smell. It's good for a water. Mm, it's really good. Yeah, it's very pure. An annoying thing about the label is there's like an air bubble right there <laughs> behind the label, but it's not, it's not a big deal. Okay. This one, I think we need a bottle opener for... for <clears throat> There was a little bit of carbonation, but not a lot opening it. <clears throat> I'm kind of worried that this is going to have less carbonation than it normally would because it's being shipped all the way across the world to Salacious Drinks and then shipped from Salacious Drinks to me. So maybe if you bought this in New Zealand, it would have more carbonation. No smell at all. That's surprisingly strong. You know, not much bubbled up at all when I opened it, but it's got a pretty pretty good kick to it, pretty strong taste. The website claims that these both have a soft taste to them. I would not sub I would not uh, describe the sparkling one as having a soft taste. I would describe this as having a sharp taste. It's still one. It's a, it's a little bit soft. I guess soft would describe this well. All right, let's test out the pH levels. All right, they claim 7.7 .7 or 7.8, but you guys look at the chart and the color yourselves and decide for yourself what uh, pH you think it is. It looks a little bit more acidic to me than they claim, but you guys be the judge. Here's a close-up of the lid. It's nice and simple and very minimalistic. They didn't like slap their logo on there or anything. They just kept it simple. And it's nice and metallic and good quality. And um, the company itself seems very small. It's not super popular. It's been around for a couple of years, but they still only have about 500 Facebook likes. And I couldn't find any other people doing reviews of this water or, um, you know, no taste tests or anything like that. And um, I couldn't find it for sale on Amazon or any other websites like that. It was mainly only being sold on salaciousdrinks.com. Uh, but if you, if you check out this company's website, it's the website address is .kiwi. I think like that's kind of interesting. Kiwi is the national bird of New Zealand and um, on their website they sell a boxed version of the water with a bag inside of a big box. I think that's kind of cool. Um, you know boxed water would uh, be able to compact and take up less space in a landfill or in a trash can. And let me just go over some fun facts about New Zealand. What continent do you think New Zealand is in? Just Think for yourself for a second. What continent is it in? Let's ask uh, Google. Hey Google, what continent is New Zealand in? New Zealand is in Oceania. <laughs> it says Oceania. Is that a continent? I mean, there's seven continents. I don't think of Oceania as a continent. So I kind of researched this for a little bit, and um, there's debates over what continent is it's in. Some people say it's part of Australia. Some people say Oceania. Some people say it's its own continent. Zealandia is the eighth continent. 
I've never even heard of that before researching this a little bit. Um, but that's what they say. <sighs> yeah, there. I was watching some videos about Zealandia, which is a huge continent that sank down under the ocean. It just broke off from Australia, and that's the eighth continent, apparently. Um, but people kind of debate back and forth, which is um, the continent for it. Okay, New Zealand fun facts. It's one of the least populated countries in the world per, you know, square kilometer. It's got a population of 4 million. And <clears throat> New Zealand has won more Olympic gold medals per capita than any other country. Another New Zealand fun fact. There are no snakes in New Zealand. New Zealand has the Guinness World Record for the steepest street in the world. It's Baldwin Street. It's got a very steep gradient. But there's also debate over that. I personally believe that Pittsburgh, PA, the city I'm in, has the steepest street. Canton Avenue in Pittsburgh. And if you just look up the statistics, Canton Avenue is actually steeper. But for some reason, the Guinness World Record goes to Baldwin Street in New Zealand. Google it yourself. Research it yourself. Canton Avenue is steeper. <laughs> A sharp, sparkling taste to it. This is a lot like Topo Chino. It kind of burns your throat going down a little bit. Um, one of my college professors, Rich, from the university I went to, just out of the blue, him and his family moved to New Zealand. And um, I asked him why he moved, and he said that he was inspired by the movies The Lord of the Rings. Because The Lord of the Rings were shot in New Zealand, and they show a lot of the uh, beautiful landscapes, and it's... Nice mountains, nice beaches. It's just, it's a really natural uh, you know, place. Because there's, there's not that many humans there. Yeah, he just out of the blue just moved there. That was 10 years ago and he hasn't, you know, moved back. So he must be enjoying it. And the fact that there's so few people there would make me believe that there's less pollution. Water itself should be cleaner, theoretically, right? And um, both of these taste pretty good. They taste pretty clean. No, no bad aftertaste. It's good water. And I'm going to say that the winner is the still water. Just because of my own personal preference, I prefer still waters. This is a good one. This is a really good one. This might make it pretty far in the comparison chart. But this is moving on to the next round. And it's really hot today. So I'm going to stop this video so I can turn my air conditioner back on. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.